So in this particular video, I discuss a few pseudocode examples. Um, so the first pseudocode, so what will be the outcome of the following pseudocode? So it is validate data, number equal to 90. So we are assigning 90 to number. So if number greater than 90, see what is there in number is 90. So here we are checking number greater than 90 and number less than 35. So here the condition fails because the number is 90. So number is not greater than 90 and it is not, okay, so less than 95. So that is the reason. So it will go to else part. So data not within the range. So the output here is data not within the range will be displayed. Data not within the range will be displayed. Okay, it's very simple. So now, so second uh, pseudocode. So set A equal to uh, 6. So now uh, take the variables. So A, A is 6 and uh, B is 3 and, uh, and C is 2. So C is now, uh, if B greater than A, B greater than A, 3 greater than 6, the condition is false. It means 0. Once this component is 0, since logical AND is there in both the places, you need not to check other conditions because in logical AND, if 1 is 0, the ultimate result is 0. So definitely it will go to else part. So A equal to B plus 1. So B plus 1 means 3 plus 1, 4. The 4 will go to A. 4 will go to A. So now A plus B plus C. So that is 4 plus 3. So 4 plus 3 is 7. 7 plus 2 is 9. So you will get the output 9. You will get the output 9. So next question. Uh, integer i, j, k, n. So memory will be allocated to i, memory will be allocated to j, and memory will be allocated to k, and memory will be allocated to n. Okay, and set j equal to 1 and k equal to 1. Now, uh, for each i from 1 to 5, so each i from 1 to 5, so I'm initializing i to 1. So I need to increment up to 5. So print k. So first, what is the value of k? 1. So I am printing 1. j equal to j plus 1. So j plus 1 means the value of j is 1. 1 plus 1, 2. So j will become 2. k equal to k plus j. So k is 1. 1 plus j is 2. So 1 plus 2 is 3. So k is actually 3. Now, I will be incremented. So, I will be incremented to 2. So, and print k. So, the value of k is 3. So, 1, 3. So, from here, you can come to the conclusion. This is the answer because here 1 and 3, only in this case. So, you can directly go to a in because in all other cases, it is 2, 1. So, you can come to the conclusion. A is the answer. So here, integer function, integer a and integer b, and they are telling assume a equal to uh, 10 and uh, b equal to 6, b equal to 6, and integer temp. So temp is uh, another variable, okay, so you need to consider. And uh, now while b, while b means while 6, the condition is true, it enters the loop, temp equal to a modulus b. A modulus B means 10 and the modulus operator gives a reminder 6. So 6 ones are 6. So 4 is the reminder. So 4 should go to temp. 4 should go to temp. Next A equal to B. So means B will go to A. So 6 will go to A. 6 will go to A. And uh, then B equal to temp. So 4 will go to B. 4 will go to B. Uh, again, while B. So B is 4. So again, control enters. Control enters. Temp equal to A modulus B. So A modulus B means 6 modulus 4. 6 modulus 4. 4 ones are 4. So 6 minus 4 is 2. 2 is the reminder. So 2 will go to temp. 2 will go to temp. A equal to B. So means this 4 will go to A. 
and uh, temp will go to b that is 2 and uh, uh, again y b so b means 2 so again it enters temp equal to a modulus b so a is 4 and uh, modulus b that is 2 so 2 twos are 4 so answer is 0 so temp will become 0 temp will become 0 a equal to b means uh, uh, 2 will go to a and b equal to temp so 0 will go to b okay and uh, while b so while 0 so it will come out on return a so the value of a is 2 so this is the answer a is 2 so thank you